Hi there. And the topic for this particular session is the lighting of your smoker. It may sound silly, but uh, a lot of people tend to struggle with uh, the lighting of the smoker and actually keeping it um, maintained through the, uh, the hive inspection. Uh, a little subtle tips. Firstly, uh, I think I've informed you before, just cut a, a, a little bit of a bung to um, bung your smoker up at the end of your uh, inspection. You can then, once it's um, closed up, the fuel will, uh, will then uh, cease and uh, you can then put it back into your vehicle ready to go home or that sort of thing. But the smoker, just to give you a, a memory, consists of a, um, a bellows action and the, then the air out of the bellows goes into the lower section of the, uh, the chamber and hence the air comes up through the unit. So a mistake that people often make is that they put the fuel in and then try to light the fuel from the top, few puffs, but you really haven't got the through draft to keep that particular um, lighted fuel in, in process. So it's always better to light the fuel first and then insert into the smoker. Let me just show you. So you've got your blowtorch. Turn that on. It's a little bit drafty up here today. You might think it's uh, uh, fairly settled, but uh, just a slight breeze. So, fuel cartridge outside. Apply the torch. Get a nice flame going. Drop it into the cut into the cartridge. Few puffs, and as you can see, that's taken. So we can close the unit up, and that will puff away to your heart's delight, hopefully. Um, that particular cartridge that I had in there was one that I've made out of a cardboard uh, packing with a hessian sack uh, wrapped in between the sacking and I make cartridges of various sizes depending on the uh, length of duration of the inspection I want to take. But anyway, um, let's make use of this now it's lit and get into the hive. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.